welcome back to Rose Tinted. So today's video is going to be a May favourites for you guys. Cannot believe how quickly um, May left and June arrived. Um, but hey ho, I suppose that's no bad thing in lockdown, is it? Um, but basically I've put together all of the items I've been loving through the month of May and I've sectioned them off into beauty, fashion and then randoms. Um, because they're a bit all over the shop this month. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, so starting off with beauty favourites. So this month I've had a favourite lipstick um, and it's quite bold for me. Usually I go for um, like darker colours in the winter but in the summer I tend to stick fairly neutral just because I can't be bothered. However, um, this lipstick from Avon has been the love of my summer and it is in the shade Chic um, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous, almost deep pink. I've got it on my lips today. It's almost like a deep pink, but it's still bright enough to be like a really, really nice summer shade. It has a beautiful like shimmer in it without being, actually it's more of a gloss, it's more of a glossy finish or a sheen finish than it is um, a shimmer finish. Um, I should make that quite clear. Um, but the Avon lipsticks, I think are usually around £5.50. Um, the wear of them is amazing. They wear really nicely. The pigmentation is incredible. And they're one of the only non-matte formulas that I find that don't slide all over my face or end up on my teeth. So if you're looking for a good budget-friendly option for a slightly brighter lipstick to make a statement this spring summer, then this is your best bet. Next thing in my beauties is the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey um, shower cream? Yes, it's a shower cream. Um, so this is what it looks like. It smells incredible. As the scent would suggest, it smells like almonds and honey. It just smells so nice. It's such a fresh scent. And although, um, I usually get gifted this in like the winter, um, months, I do really, really enjoy this for summer. It's such a light, fresh, slightly sweet scent. It's just incredible. Although it says shower cream, I do tend to throw this under the tap while it's running for a bath. Um, it creates really nice bubbles and leaves you with a fantastic smell afterwards. So if you can pick this up, I highly recommend it. So for hair care this month, I have been loving a new product. So it's something that I very recently picked up, but it has very quickly become one of my favourite hair products ever. And I'm gutted because it's limited edition, so I'll need to stock up. Um, but it is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Soothing Summer Ritual Shampoo and Conditioner. First of all, the packaging, amazingly cute. Um, secondly, the smell is incredible. It smells like a luxury spa. Yeah, it smells like when you walk into a spa. Love this stuff. Um, it leaves your hair feeling ridiculously soft. It also leaves a really nice shine and I've noticed any damage on the ends of my hair, although Spuggy chopped most of it off. Let's not talk about it. This tends to not repair it, but cover it up quite well. Um, so that is super good and it also doesn't leave um, like a built up feeling of product in my hair which I love. The light is now going crazy. Fabulous. Anyway, uh, I picked these up from Home Bargains I believe and I'm pretty sure they were under £2 each which for a Dove shampoo and conditioner is actually amazing. So I'll leave a link to those in the description bar below. You'll be able to get them in Boots and Superdrug and stuff like that online as well. So yeah, love them. The last thing in my beauty category this month is the Garnier Organic um, Pure Time Perfecting Toner. Um, I spoke about this in my Where to Spend and Where to Save Skincare Edition. Um, I'll leave that linked in the description bar for you guys. Um, basically, this is a really nice toner that just evens out the skin tone, leaves your skin feeling really fresh without being stripped back. And with, this, with the weather being so hot at the moment, I tend to not be wearing either A, as much makeup, or B, just no makeup at all. Um, and sometimes it's quite nice to get something like this just to refresh the skin and take off all the sweat and the oil and the dirt from the day. Uh, but it's incredible. So if you can get your hands on this, um, I believe it's about six pounds, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll double check on that one. Um, it is vegan, so if that's important to you, then this is your guy. It smells. To, it does smell like thyme. I mean, shockingly, it's <laughs> pure thyme, but it does actually smell like that without smelling chemically. So I'm impressed with that and I've been loving that. Like I say, if you can pick it up, it's a good shout. So moving on to fashion favourites for this month. So my favourite item of all this month has been these. So these <laughs> look rather garish when you see them on camera. Um, however, these are a pair of 
really super stretchy, flowy shorts um, that I picked up from Tesco. These were picked up as necessity more than anything. Uh, basically, I only bought leggings for a trip to the beach <laughs> um, last weekend and uh, leggings were not gonna work for me. Uh, so I, well, I was walking into Tesco looking for a pair of shorts and I found these and what I really liked about these was they're not maternity shorts but they fit like maternity shorts so they can go above my bump, they can go below my bump, they can go on my bump and I don't feel restricted, um, they don't feel uncomfortable, they go with t-shirts, vest tops, cardigans, jean jackets, you're good to go, you can style them as you like. I also feel like I'd probably wear these in the winter with a pair of boots and tights. Uh, call me crazy, like I said in my haul video, um, apparently that trend never left my mind so it's all good. Uh, but yeah, I really like these, these were £8.50 and they're just super comfortable and they cover your butt cheeks. So if you like me and don't want your butt cheeks hanging out the bottom, these are your best friend this summer. So I don't know about you guys but um, at this time of year I always find myself wearing like little plimsoll shoes or little pumps or um, little canvas shoes. I always find myself wearing those kind of shoes where you can't wear socks but you don't like the feeling of them without socks. So um, before I bought these I used to like roll my socks down so put them on and then roll them over the heels and it was just the whole situation. However last year I discovered these which are <laughs> nothing new so don't be shocked but these are little uh, toe socks I believe they're called. Um, I call them, I mean I was a way to call them foot socks but Aren't all socks fit socks? Besides the point. Um, <laughs> these are little socks that just cover the toes um, and a little bit of the heel. They don't come up over your foot. They just cover them tipsy pegs and the back of your heel so that when you slip them into shoes and stuff, you can't actually see them. These are black ones. I do have white ones. I wear them with my white shoes, but because I was at the beach uh, last weekend, I have used them up. But yeah, if you can get hold of them. Um, I got them from Primark for I think it was £2.50 for a pack of five, but I know that Tesco, Asda, that kind of place do them as well, and they're fairly affordable. The only thing I will say is these disappear quicker than normal socks, so keep an eye on them, track them, tag them, don't care, but keep an eye on them. And the last thing for fashion favourites feels a bit odd to show on the internet, however, it is this bra, which is looking a bit worse for wear, mainly because I wear it most days. Um, so basically, I got this from Primark and it is a non-wired, non-structured bra. Um, it has a little bit of like this liner padding, like soft padding on the inside because your gal ain't got much boobs and will take whatever assistance she can get as Primark's finest would have it. It has this thick band on the back, so at the moment my boobs are slightly bigger and are definitely heavier. So that thick band really helps for support. And it also has really silky um, like shoulder straps, so they don't rub, they don't dig in, they're super comfortable. What I like about this as well is, is it has quite a low V in the middle, which means if I'm wearing something low cut or a vest top or anything like that, it's really, really easy to pop this on without thinking, are you gonna see my bra? Is it gonna pop out? I can't wear this, I'm gonna have to wear strapless or nipple covers or this, that or the next thing. This is just a really simple solution. If you're ordering online, which at the moment you probably are, um, order a couple of sizes, try them on, pick the one that fits and then send the others back for a return. But yeah, really like this. If you can get a hold of something similar, go for it. So lastly for my main favorites video is randoms. So my first random, is this. So these are Aeropods. We've been using Aeropods for about six or seven months now. Um, basically they, I always got put off them because I always thought they were quite expensive for what they were, but the amount of um, fabric conditioner and um, what do you call the, the powder stuff? Washing powder? Washing powder. Um, the amount we were spending on washing powder and fabric conditioner was just stupid. These are amazing. So they now come with a child safety lock because y'all can't be trusted not to eat them. Um, but they're these little pods that you just throw in the empty drum of the washing machine. You then put your load of washing in and it makes your washing smell like it was washed and kissed by fairies. It's amazing. Um, I believe they're about $4.99 from Asda for the box. This does us maybe a fortnight, maybe just over that. We do a lot of washing 
don't ask it's an argument in our household on the regular um, but yeah really really like these and um, we also used to use the same type of thing for the dishwasher we don't have a dishwasher anymore or well, we do but she's called Aisling and she doesn't really want these um, but yeah um, we've been using these for the washing and they just smell incredible I really like them so the next couple of things are not things that are physical they're either things that were on the TV or on um, my Amazon music app so the first is Ripper Street so Ripper Street is an amazing uh, TV show that was actually done by the BBC back in 2015 I think um, and basically it's set in the 1880s just after the Jack the Ripper murders and it follows the H Division team um, that are constantly paranoid that every time a crime hits them that it's going to be the Ripper and it is amazing. Um, my new crush is on there which is Jerome Flynn, shout out to you. Looks like a bulldog but for some reason I quite like him. Um, the actors are amazing, the script is incredible, the story picks up plot holes that you notice in one season and they pick them up and solve them in the next season. Nothing is left unanswered and I just, I can't recommend it enough. Um, the other thing is the Calm app. Not gonna lie, I only downloaded the Calm app because Jerome Flynn was reading bedtime stories. <laughs> so I downloaded the app for the seven day free trial in order to listen to him reading me bedtime stories which by the way in case you're interested were amazing they sent me to sleep I was very happy um, but they also do have um, like a bunch of recordings of like rain and ocean and forest and all these different sounds um, to help you relax and help you sleep and as somebody that suffers with anxiety and also the fact that I'm really struggling to sleep at the moment um, I found the app really really helpful actually so I'll leave a link to that in the description bar below I do believe you can get it on Android and um, iOS so it's it's just incredible I think you can actually get it on Fire Stick as well but it is really really good and I've been enjoying that and the last thing is the Lumineers Cleopatra album uh, I've liked the, the Lumineers for ages um, I actually liked them since their song Ho Hey was part of uh, the Heart of Dixie TV show um, ever since then um, I've absolutely loved them uh, but for some reason I hadn't heard this album and the song Cleopatra is amazing um, and the album itself is incredible so if you get a chance to listen to that definitely like a summary uplifting playlist definitely one to go for so that is everything that I was loving through the month of May I hope this gave you guys some ideas on what to pick up and what to try um, other than that I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy it just click the button down below it's free and it don't cost you nothing and it helps me out a great uh, amount um, also click the bell notification button so that you're notified every time I upload a new video and until next time guys bye